broadcasting from under the roof of Marlins Park as we are ready for game time. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Miami Marlins. It's Marlins baseball, and it's next on the show. Sandy Almanza is ready to go as she'll be on the mound for the Marlins. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you want to know if this guy's one of the better pitchers in the league? Well, how about this? Batters are hitting under 200 against this guy for the year, so he's done a good job against both righties and lefties. And I'm looking for him to be just as dominant in this one. Josh Harrison stands in, and we are set for baseball here this evening. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike one to start the at bat. Guys, this Marlins ball club, as they begin play here tonight, got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last 10 ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2 two -two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. With that, the batting order for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks. He will tell us about this lineup as they try to force a rubber match in the series. Yeah, Matty, every person that bought a ticket tonight came to see one thing, and that's the guy on the mound. But I'll tell you what, from an offensive standpoint, this is what you live for. Who's going to make the adjustments offensively to put quality at bats against this guy? Do they have to get him early? Can someone work themselves into a big count to drive a ball in the gap late? I am so fired up to see this offense take on this monster. And that misses for ball one. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. And that's in there for his strike one and one. In for strike two. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. D-Row, you know one of the things, I guess, with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters, but one thing I will say, he has a very consistent zone. It's a low zone, but a consistent zone. You know D-Row as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter's smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. And that's through for a hit. Hey, a little top of the order lightning right here, Dan. The second and third guys in the batting order throw knocks out there, and now you're staring a monster in the face. Dero, this is just what you don't want to face as a pitcher, right? You get the two and three hole guys up, and all of a sudden now it's four, five, and six going to have to get through the meat of this tough batting order. Jake Lamb standing in now. And there's a base hit on the line. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Hey, that's a big RBI single right there, D-Row. They lost the first game of this series, and they certainly don't want to fall behind and may potentially lose the first two games of this set. Without question, Dan. Offensively, you're just trying to grind it out, give your team a chance, give the pitcher a chance to relax a little bit, even the series up, hopefully, and fight it out tomorrow. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in the dugout and regroup a little bit. One run is not going to kill you. Oh. Ball and two strikes now. 
Ball lays off two and two now. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And that's a home run into the top tank. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Diamondbacks have stretched their lead now to 4 nothing. Yeah, these guys came into this game with a plan, and they've executed it really well at the dish. They've been very aggressive, and that aggressiveness has put them up by four early on. What a great start. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one. And this lineup needs to be on the attack early and be aggressive and find a way to stay in this game. Hits this one hard the other way. Marte fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, two gone. Got in seven. Right fielder. Season two drop. Standing in, Steven Souza. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First delivery to him on the way. Sliders in for a strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. This is what makes him so dangerous as a pitcher. Five weapons that he can go to, and he's working ahead in the count. This is a tough matchup. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. Score in the inning, three coming right here on the three-run home run. Bottom of the first coming up from Miami. It's now 4-0 Arizona. Robbie Ray will be the one towing the rubber for the Diamondbacks. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Here's Starling Marte. First at bat for him as he enters play number three in the National League batting race. First pitch of the at bat leaves a slider up high but it's taken for a strike. Well guys you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games they find themselves one and three haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Swing and a liner. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, I think all opposing pitchers are going to have their hands full with Brett Gardner. He's slugging over 550 on the season. A lot of home runs, a lot of doubles. That's elite power. That's elite slugger territory. Not a lot of guys in the game get to that territory, even some of the really good ones. Digging in, Tim Hodge. These two have not faced each other at the major league level. First delivery to him on the way. Uh, he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Hey, there's no waiting around trying to work this guy into deep counts and get into the bullpen. This is a mid 90s fastball guy who loves that pitch and is aggressive and comes right at you. I would assume the offense is going to have a similar approach. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That's not an attack he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look.
Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He swings and grounds it to short to his right Defoe. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Marlins. They're down four nothing. Here's the catcher Alex Avila and there you see his righty left he splits and how they've played out so far this season. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. That smokes but right into the ship. Oh and it eats him up a bit. And hold on a minute now. It looks like we may see that last call challenged here. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang-bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when I saw it at full speed, and I'll tell you what, it's still not clear to me from that replay. We'll see if they decide to challenge it after they look at it from a few more angles. And it looks like a no from the bench. So they will not challenge the play, and the call will stand with the runner safe at first base. The pitcher, Robbie Ray, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. In today's game, if they're going to give you an out, you take it. You have to find a way to execute a pitch in the zone, allow him to get the bunt down, and take the out at first. And they'll just tag him out along the first bank's line. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. And let's focus on outfielder Brett Gardner. You need a center fielder, he can play there. You need a corner spot, he's got that covered too. He has baseball acumen, awareness, a savvy for the game. Even if the offense lags a little bit, defense is always on point. Striding into the box, Josh Harrison. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped him up. Marte shading to his right. Makes the play and there are two gone now. The batter number one. Jordan. And here now is Wilmer Defoe. Runner in scoring position with Sukhan. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Hey, I don't mind you taking one right there. This pitcher's been struggling early. You got to make him work, see if he'll get in his own. If he's willing to walk a few guys and then someone pops one over the fence, this game could get out of hand early. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Wow, his last time out, guys were just flailing away at that slider. But tonight, completely different story. I think their approach coming to the plate tonight was to lay off that pitch until he shows he can throw it for a strike. Count remains two and two. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Still even at two and two. Avila stands at second with two gone. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Marte has it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. D-backs lead it four to nothing. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. And check out the recent numbers. Clearly providing a lot of thump at the plate right now. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big league. Right. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Here's Brett Gardner now. Tapped up the first baseline, but it gets fouled. Hey, 
on the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Batting seven. First baseman. Princeton Offerman. Up next from Miami, Christian Optimus. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here comes the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four pitches, all it takes to do in the Marlins. They trail here four to nothing. with the plate David Peralta he singled and scored in his first appearance in this one David Peralta sinker to open the AB in there for strike one oh one pitch on its way started that swing a bit too early that is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. Another 0 2 home. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. The next 0 2 misses. That's ball one. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Slider stayed too low. Ball two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. The 2 2 one more time. And right into the shift. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Up next for the batter back, third baseman, James Lamb. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jake Lamb. He singled his last time up. He set and the pitch. Felt high and right down the middle for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. 0 oh, 1 pitch and he can't make contact on the bender 0 oh, 2. Strike. That misses 1 and 2. Ball Tough two. pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at 2 and 2. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. And there's out number two. Up next for the Dynamax, first Derek Now at the plate, Derek Dietrich. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Two out, nobody on. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Shot weakly to the left. To his left, Viema. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So one, two, three, go to Diamondbacks. But they're in front, four to nothing. Standing in, Angel Vielma. Leading off for the Marlins. The shortstop, number 17. First pitch of the at-bat. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This is a foul ball. Might have been cheating for another fastball, trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Count is one and two now. Yeah. 
the one two he is swung on and missed he got him on strikes after tonight these two teams right back at it again on Sunday as you get a look at our upcoming schedule that takes us into next week Coming to the plate now, Martin Maldonado, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So striding forward now, Sandy Almanza. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. It's amazing, I tell so many fans, you get in a box one time, the one pitch you're going to swing at more than any other is that elevated fastball. Your eyes light up as an offensive player, and you just cannot get to it. Behind 0-2 now. A wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Back alongside Mark DeRozan, and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as Adam Jones gets set to start out the inning. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings, so it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if the start will continue to run downhill. Vilma is up with it on to first, and it's dropped. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. Into the box now, Steven Souza. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Boy, there's a long drive bullet off the wall right there. But the outfielder does a really good job, Hero, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there. Not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, d -Roll, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into he's a going, double. He's going, and a he's double going. steal try here. It swung out and missed the throw. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Souza leads off second with one gun in the inning. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. I wouldn't be surprised if he used his aggressiveness against him right here. If you're going to get a swing outside the zone, 1-1, one, one, might as well fish a little bit further. Hodge waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now back, Petra, Robbie Ray. Digging in, Robbie Ray. He did his job and laid down a successful sack bunt in his first appearance. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Four runs, six hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Just a tick behind for a strike. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for Arizona, but they hold a 4 to nothing lead. Now 
Now batting, Starling Marte hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Hit on the ground to third. Lamb over to his left, and the throw to first is in time, one gun. Well executed right. two-seamer on the outside corner Finish. that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. So digging in now, Tim Hodge, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And now the second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left. Peralta comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. The third baseman, number 11, Ryan Zimmerman. Into the box now, Ryan Zimmerman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. And ooh, I'm not sure you can get fooled worse than that. It's 0 and 1. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. Donnie oh, looked like a caveman swing in a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Dietrich is calling for it, and that's the third out. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They're down four nothing. Josh Harrison stands in. Over oh, two for him to this point. Second baseman. John. Sends on the ground out to second. Marte gloves it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Good time now to check out the Marlins road to the show report as you see a couple of players in the upper levels of the minors that have been making waves as of late. And here now is Wilmer Defoe. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped him up. Zimmerman in foul ground. And this will land foul. Sweet. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. And a breaking ball stays outside. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one, a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Into the box now, David Peralta, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. The 1 0 delivery. Breaking ball in for a strike. One one home. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw gets him two down. Now batting. There's Aikman. Jake Lamb. At the plate, Jake Lamb. One for two. He singled and grounded out so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Takes a knee-high fastball. It's really hard to match up this poor performance when you dive into the numbers. This guy's thrown over 80% of his first pitches for strikes, but he's going to need to have to clean his stuff up a little bit better and get the ball down in the strike zone. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One, one. Is a sinker that misses for a ball. 
That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. The 2-1. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Gone all the way into the upper deck. Jake Lamb connects for a two-run home run. Number 14 on the season. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Derek. In now, Derek Dietrich as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Strike. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. But the Diamondbacks pick up a couple courtesy of this two-run home run middle of the night here in Miami. It's the Diamondbacks six and the Marlins nothing. And that'll bring in the middle infielder Cattell Marte. He leads off Leading in the off bottom of the bottom. fifth as they look to break through Second on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fouled off. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Oh, and he just picked him apart in that at bat as he's gone on three pitches, one away. A little bit over halfway home tonight, oh, bottom of the tomorrow. fifth, as we get a look at our Bottom's line fielder. score to this point. And right. boy, just one right. hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Here's Brett Gardner now, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Lifted the other way out to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Dan, are you even concerned about that? You've been pitching out of the windup all game, and now you have to go to the stretch. Uh, it can be a concern sometimes, Ebro, but you try to in between starts to make sure that you throw enough pitches out of the stretch. And he's been out of the windup most of the game, so. We'll see how he reacts here after this base hit. Standing in now, Christian Othamus, as he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. The relay throw, and he is in there with an RBI triple. Here's another look at it right here as he drives it right between the two outfielders. Heading towards the right center field wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. By the time they get it back in, he's safely into third. Into the box, and he'll be He'll swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Optimus takes his lead at third with one away. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to, as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. 
I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check swing appeal, hitters rarely feel like they went, and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire, but looking at it, it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. Stepping in now, Martin Maldonado. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Hit hard to short. Ah, oh, way to get dirty. He gathers the throw. Yeah. Wow. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Center fielder number 10. Line drive to center field. And Jones is going to have himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. I'm shocked this pitcher keeps trying to attack the zone with them being so aggressive early in the count. You wonder if he wouldn't be served a little better, just kind of nibbling for a little bit early and then pound in the zone late. Digging in and looking for more, Steven Souza, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. No balls in one strike. Hey. A slider down low for a strike. Two great pitches down in the zone. Interested to see where he goes now. Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. The one two doesn't catch the outside corner it's a ball and he struck him out second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes this pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series this is a really good hitter and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point but that's what they've done to this guy so far here's the catcher Alex Avila this will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Lays off the circle change there, a ball and a strike. Six runs, nine hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. Stuff has never been a problem with this pitcher. It's execution and location that has always been his bugaboo. And that's exactly what happened here. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They hold on to their 6-1 to one lead. Reyes is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Slapped hard the opposite way. And a diving effort, but the ball kicks off the right fielder's glove. Now you got to be frustrated if you're on the mound. You try and go elevated meter right there and blow some cheese by him. And he's able to scramble it and drive it the other way for a base hit. Nice job by the hitter to get the barrel to that base hit. Here's Starling Marte. Here's a fastball chop foul at the plate at strike one. No hits to this point.
line towards center field. Jones is right there, one down. Now batting, right fielder, Tim Hodge. Ready for another chance, Tim Hodge. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Lifted the other way out to left center. Jones is after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The third baseman, number 11, Ryan Zimmerman. Digging in once again, Ryan Zimmerman. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. This is the bugaboo on the offensive side. You want to stay in there and work a guy's count and hopefully get into the bullpen. But when you find yourself 0-1 every time, hitting becomes even more difficult. Oof. And it's safe to say he doesn't look all that comfortable up there. 0-2 now. From the belt, the pitch in the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw to first ends the inning. One hit, one left. Seventh inning coming up. D backs out in front, six to one. Welcome back to South Florida. We're on to the seventh with the Diamondbacks out in front. And before we get the inning underway, let's get a look at our game summary to this point. Rogers is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Trevor Rogers. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now and stepping in, Josh Harrison. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. Bouncer to the left side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, number one, George Wilmer Defoe. Digging in the switch hitter, Wilmer Defoe. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Takes this the other way to right. Again, a nice clean base hit, his third of the game. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's okay. clean. Three for four. He's looking locked in. Peralta. In now, David Peralta. Yes, he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Jake Lamb standing in now. Popped him up. Optimus is there, and the side is retired. One left for Arizona. They lead it six to one. In now, Patel Marte. Due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. 
And sometimes when you're down like they are, you've got to find a way to spark your offense any way you can. Now they've got the leadoff men on base and the starter working from the stretch. We'll see if this ignites them a little bit. Here's Brett Gardner now. Mine to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, there's a base hit right there. Now they have a couple of runners on with less than two outs, but they're down by so much in this game that hopefully maybe they can get something started here in this inning. Yeah, 100%, Dan. I've played the game a long time. I've never seen a big league hitter giving that bat away. You chip away and fight until that 27th out is made. First pitch on its way. Oh, an ugly swing there. It's 0-1. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Into the box now, and he'll be Ilman. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that's in there, base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. He had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets through, but eventually does get the third base. From the stretch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Now the 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Marte at third, Gardner at second, Vilma at first, one gone. Line toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. One run scores. And a relay to the plate. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. A pitcher, number 35. Number. Now here comes the Arizona skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three-run lead. Your attention, please. Now so with a left-handed the hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Taylor will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Taylor.
Here's the 0 1. Rounded down the third baseline. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Here's Starling Marte, and they're runners at the corners now. Looking to minimize the damage here. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Laborde playing here in his age 26 season. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. A one pitch on its way. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Runners at the corners, two men out. And he goes down to get the fastball as this is hit well out to deep left center field. And he is going to ride this one right out of here. Home run. So a three-run shot to left center. Number 18 for him on the campaign. As they pull even, it's 6-6 six six now. You can see why they love this guy. He's a leadoff guy with some serious pop. And he pounces on this mistake and knocks it right out of here. Now batting, right fielder, Tim Hodge. Standing in now, Tim Hodge. And he is tied up on the fastball there to start things out. It's strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Let's go. Let's go, Marlin. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Not before five cross the plate with the big blow being this three run home run. Seven complete here tonight and we're all even now at six and six. Miguel Delgaizo has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Miguel Delgaizo. Digging in to try it again, Derek Dietrich. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. The bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. It looked like from our perspective, he gave up on that one a little too quick and then tried to emergency hack late. On the ground, up the middle. Throw is not in time. And a great job of legging that out as now the go-ahead run is on base to lead off the inning. I know he didn't smoke that one from the offensive standpoint, but you know what? A knock's a knock, especially to lead off an inning game tied and it's getting late that could prove to be pivotal here's the center fielder now Adam Jones a ball of no strikes he's working on a one for three thus far Jones swings and hits it very well to left 
And that two-run home run delivers an eighth-inning lead. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left and is now an 8-6 ball game. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be flying, d -Row. The hitters are on point. The pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate, and this offense, and both offenses, are taking advantage. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. So it's a backwards K on the changeup that time. Steven Souza takes his third strike out of the day. Here's the catcher, Alex Avila, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He went down on strikes last time up. Pulled toward right center field. Marte is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Freddie Galvez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 13, Freddie Galvez. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Galvis is a guy you have to keep an eye on in the batter's box. He's definitely been known to drop down a bunt from time to time. That's something he's really good at. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. And we'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Diamondbacks eight and the Marlins six. Erasmo Ramirez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Erasmo Ramirez. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. No career numbers to talk about for this matchup. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Oh, 0-1 oh, count and the pitch takes this the other way to right and a base hit so early trouble to lead off the inning he doubled up on the heater right there first one he blew right by him second one timing was on point he was able to get a hit so here's the cleanup hitter for Miami Patel Marte who represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases yeah, Matt, and I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a liner, and that's in there. Base hit. Boy, d -Roll, when you're starting to swing it like this team, this doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitch, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. 
hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D-Row. Three for four, not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a little tapper. Get off me ball. That ball's way too far inside. He's got to step out of the box right now and adjust his batting gloves because he just got stung by a pack of wasps. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. He might not want to throw that one again. I know his timing was a little bit off at the dish, but he kept his hands back, just missed that one, fouled that one off really hard. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. It's a grand slam. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. They've taken a two-run lead. They complete the comeback with a flourish, going deep with a grand slam to take the lead. Don't get style points in this game, but I'd give them some if I could hand some out. Your attention, please. Now, New pitcher coming on now, so we'll get a look at the now, side armor, Joe Smith. Joe Smith. Stepping in now, Angel Vilma. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Last time through was a base hit. on the sinker and he's behind 2-0 and now. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good and those were two stone cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Now the 2-0 is swung on missed in that strike one. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing and this is also hit well out to deep center. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. After Martin Maldonado. Digging in, Martin Maldonado. He singled and drove home two his last time. Set. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to the right. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out a whole ambush tactic. First pitch fastball middle in. He's able to drive that for a nice one. Answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Jorge Soler will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Swing and a miss on a ball in his eyes. One strike. 
And he comes in as a player to watch out for hitting well over 300 on the season. Harrison for one on the first and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen one batter two outs and the inning is over around the horn they go five to four to three to end the threat back with more on this fine Saturday night following this always a party in Miami Beach not too far from us here at Marlins Park set to begin the ninth inning in this one Trey Guerrero takes the ball now in inning number nine looking to close the door stepping up to the plate Josh Harrison struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here hey not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this one of the game's elite closers Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A high fastball is in there. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make the pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile, bringing the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. And here now is Wilmer Defoe, as he'll take a look at ball one. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. One and zero delivery. Count now a ball and a strike. Harrison gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Down low. Two balls and a strike. And ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. In now, David Peralta. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Runner at first here, one man out. Again, a one-two. Ground ball, foul down the left side. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either.
Jake Lamb standing in now. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. I try and tell people all the time you're facing 90 to 92, 94. You can still see seams. It starts getting above 94, it starts to blur itself a little bit. You start pitching where this guy's at, you're seeing nothing. You're seeing vapor. And now a crowd right around 25,000 strong comes to their feet. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. This one wraps up as a 10-8 final. The Miami Marlins came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Miguel Delgaizo earns his third win of the year in relief. Trey Guerrero closes the door for the save, is 26. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Miami Marlins, 10 runs, 13 hits, one error. They left four men on base. For the Diamondbacks, eight runs on 13 hits. No error. They left five men on base. Time is the ball. Four hours and one minute. A reminder that Marlins shuttle buses are available outside Marlins Park with service to the Culver Metro Rail Station.